and you just gotta go up. You know, it's a little, it's a little wacky, but it works. Oh shoot! Let's well, see, because I got, I got fashion. I can take a hit, and I don't care. Level five. It sure is green. And uh, yeah, see a part. Whoa! Here's a new friend, Big Kitty Cat. This is why you need to buy it. So I don't know, look. Big Kitty Cat. Throw an arrow at him, and then just kind of live inside them for a while. So yeah, this could be expensive, but I feel like they give a lot of money in exchange of needing money to be destroyed. Yeah, so hope you bought the arrows at some point, because they've suddenly become very relevant. And also a mummy. Now mummies love being set on fire. I've learned that on television. Check that out. Oh, he's carrying like the actual key inside its belly. They're like super strong. I don't know why. They're just basically a big pile of hitbox. Except they're not that big pile of hitbox, I feel like. Uh, now that I am re-experiencing this with my face. Uh, whoa, dark room. It's him time. Dig Dogger hates certain kind of sound. Very good to know. I'm very happy you're here with all the important information, old man. Willikers. Now, do you know what a Dig Dogger is, though? Like, that's the... You guys. Hi. Like, that's the real question. Alright, so you do that, and then, like, he hates it, then he can just do that. Yeah, so... While you can feed one of these uh, dinosaurs, uh, strictly speaking, it's better to stun them with the smoke. Uh, because then you can stab them, and then you get rewarded, uh, but, uh... They kind of move around, and the bomb takes a second to blow up. It's a whole thing. Whoa, slime kill, slime death. It's welcome to Planet Slime. This is not a planet, but I got a key. It's pretty good. Keys are fun. Welcome to the mummy room. One of them is carrying a bomb. All right, so four slashes. It's all good. I'm just gonna sit here and slash four times, multiple times. Me I should have used some of the bombs because you know that's a few uh, I wasted. Uh, more. Man, give those. They're like, yo, I heard your way into bombs. Oh hey, this is the you can bomb wall tutorial, I guess. I don't know where things are, so I'm just gonna lay them everywhere. Okay, that's interesting. They just kind of trap you in a room. Oh no. So, remember our pal, Armos? Well, he doesn't exist. He's outside, he's a statue. Remember our pal, uh, Darknut? Yeah, he's here. Okay, okay. We're, I've just used a ton of bombs. But, look, man. So, imagine Darknut, our orange friend, but significantly stronger? And, uh, well, I don't know if significantly, but, yeah, quite a bit stronger. I just used up all my bombs, I realized. I, I, I kind of didn't really think about it. It just kind of happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright. That took a lot. That was dangerous. And you don't even get an item for that. Well, okay. Well, give those have been pretty bomb generous. So, so maybe it's gonna be cool. Alright, you're in a weird place. I love weird places. Uh, going over here in a- Jesus hell, man, really? Alright. I'm- See, this is a place where I will probably end up using a potion. Assuming I live. Alright, I lived. Let's, uh, demonstrate what it's like to drink a whole bottle of ketchup. It is shockingly noisy. Alright, well, glad I met you today. Oh boy, uh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Didn't get to use that beam for very long. I'm fully aware of that. What? no, that, you turn around right in time for me to stab you in the back. Very smart, very efficient fighting. Oh boy, this is just, okay, well there's a heart and I would, Love that heart. Hopefully, 
and I got that heart without, like, losing another heart. It's pretty good. Eh, eh, no, yeah, no, eh, eh, no, alright, nope. I'm sure there's an art to fighting these. I just don't know what it is. Oh boy, just buddy. Okay. I missed, I was too far away. I'm very good at this. Hey. Yeah, I did it! All right, and all that gets us the fabulous prize of... A little flute! Wow! Well, Dig Dogger doesn't like a certain kind of sound, and I got a flute. That is a specific kind of sound that just came out of the thing I'm holding. Uh, all seems pretty suspicious. Alright! Okay! No bombs! Half my potion gone! Things are getting dicey. Welcome to an empty room with a- Oh, wait, so... This is like a trap room, I guess, because you need a key to get here. You don't gain anything. Maybe you can bomb one of these walls if I still had any bombs, but I had to use the bombs for the sake of violence, alright? That's just not an option. Violence had to happen for me to be able to progress. It was in this very screen, too. Alright, I would love the map to know where I am. Oh, the Gibdos are back! Give me bombs back! I would love that. I guess I stopped talking as a sign for future me to go, No, yeah, uh, you've already did this room before. It's fine. Uh, you can edit this out. Alright, hey, here we go, bomb back. And this is the guy with the hint, right? I know where we are. Where we are in the world. Sure looks like things. Alright, so up here there is a door going to the side I didn't take. I also did not take the key door. Let's take the side door. Why not? So they're back. So even though they're a returning boss, um, they're a respawning boss, I guess. Like not- okay. Look, I could just use a light and see things. I could do that. That is accurate. An accurate statement was indeed made. Hey, more Gibdos. Whoa, you ever want to just hit like a whole bunch of HP in the face? Well, how about in the gut? Okay, you can't even stun them. They are like, oh boy. Like that's their thing. Uh, these look like they might also do a lot of damage if you like let them hit you like I just did. Oh wow, but they're really generous with the bombs though. Like just like, dude. And I am not being particularly careful, I feel like. I feel like I could be a lot more careful here about stepping in the guys uh, that want to harm me. The map is there. This is another copy of this room. So, up the Dodongo room. Okay, well, let's get that map. I'll use a key for a map, absolutely. Alright, what is this room? It's this one. It's the Wacky Path room. We've all seen it before. Is it worth refining them? No, I don't think they ever drop anything but bombs, right? I'm not actually sure. Whoa, check it out! Welcome to the shrimp! I don't know what this shape is. I feel like a lot of them are pretty easy to read. It's just like a weird shrimp, a scorpion, maybe? I forget. And like the- so the manual tells you what they're all supposed to represent. Like that's how I've learned the word manji. I- I forgot what this is, I just don't know. <laughs> it's a weird evil shrimp, don't worry about it. Uh, hey, welcome to darkness. You know what? I thought there was a lot more- oh, well, you can just like hang out in the lava and attack safely from here. Uh, the bunnies that you need arrows for. Like, we've encountered, like, one room with those? I thought there'd be more. Not saying I'm disappointed, but it's just kind of shocking to me. 
The compass, the least exciting item of all. Oh boy. Hey. Speak of the devil. Yeah, that's right. Point blank. Uh, I probably want to light things up. Going to the menu and then scrolling back. Uh, that's the kind of thing we're up to in Dungeon 5. Yeah, see, I got a refund for that particular arrow. Oh, boy. Alright, I'm going to not step into the Gibdos. I am not just going to cause harm myself. If I can help it, I cannot always help it. Can you bomb up? Because I can't help but notice there's a room above. And the door joined next to it also did not have... So, that's in the pathway. Okay, I might want to return there and bomb a hole. Can I go back up through here and not have to... Okay, so I will have to go back and go through the big path. I will do that. I will return back. You don't just keep a room completely hidden away from me. That just does not happen. I mean, it does. Uh, I'm sure it happens frequently, in fact. So why am I standing here destroying mummies? They are here. I really like their design, though. They're so goofy. They're just happy to be here. Alright, BRB. I gotta zoom around. Oh, I have to redestroy everyone here. And that was all my bomb. Wait, but I need to use bombs. I didn't think this through at all. I mean, I need to use... Bombs here, which I do not have. I kinda messed up, honestly. So I'm not gonna use my potion. Like, I'm gonna fight these and hope that I get a bomb drop. Uh, instead I got killed. So this will give me a chance to... Uh, farm for bombs, I guess. No, that, I just, I wasted them. Uh, that was just a bad play on my end. I, I played bad. I did a bad. Hey! Ooh! Nice. Fairies don't heal you fully, I can't help but notice, but... It's fine. So, I have some bombs for this horde. And now, collectively, y'all know why I was not using my potions on the dragon or whatever. It's because I'm intimately aware that there are normal encounters in this game that are so much deadlier than the bosses. Like, on a level that is just incredible. There is no way that whatever is in here is worth it, by the way. Just, like, there is no way, but we're gonna find out! Wow! Unbelievable. No! No, I'm wrong! This is absolutely worth it! I just need to make six dollars. Uh, okay. I forgot that was here. Ah, uh, you know what? It's fine. I need money. Ah, uh, these guys are just... <laughs> hey, I got the money I need. I got even a little bit more. Wow, yeah, what happened? Alright, I, like, I, uh, you know what? It's fine.
like a thousand million bats, but that's fine. Okay. Yes. Yes. And I think you're gonna fill up my bombs, right? Hey, so... Honestly, the fact I used up all my bombs just means that I got more for my money. A hundred buckaroos for the ability to hold bombs and 12 bombs. You know what? I should probably just die. <laughs> there we go. You can go ahead and finish me off. Like, reminder that earlier today, I got new fashion that doubled my defense. So, you know, blue knights and mummies, like, they do a serious amount of damage. Uh, I feel like I kinda got the extra defense right at the, right at the right time. But alright, I got... Pretty sure I got everything I was going to get from here. There might be something in the middle, though, and I didn't try to bomb there, I don't think. Well, at that point, like, I'm not returning back to... Doom Death Squad. I I'm just not, so... If there's anything exciting there, so be it. when I decided to double back, right? Hoping for health. Don't know if I'm gonna get it, but that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, stupid bat! Don't interrupt my arrow. Come on, mummy. Alright, you. Alright, no health. I don't think I'm going to need it, but... I don't know. So, yeah, I've been here, and that's when I double back. That's right. I remember just the place where you can hang around and just stab a mummy. <laughs> it's relatively safe about it. You kind of don't have to worry about much of anything until you step into their little island. Because you press the direction a little bit too long. That happens. It's all good. I'm looking at the amount of time I've been recording, and I feel like, uh, I might- This might- This I might have split in two. I don't know yet. Y'all are gonna- Okay, so this is- I already got my arrow on. Yeah! Oh. I don't know if I missed there, but I certainly did. Ugh. Like, this is- This is trivial to aim. It's just, you know, point out a direction and go. And yet- and yet, 
here we are. It's because, like, you know, like, I'm glad I did all my major purchases done because, uh... What are you about? Secret power is said to be in the arrow! Weird thing to say, but alright. Okay, so, you cannot... I don't know what that means. But yeah, so you cannot access the upper part of math from the opening in the hole. So I am glad I didn't just make my life hell for no reason. I made my life hell for a reason. For profit. It's Dick Dogger. Whoa. Hates the sound. I don't know, it's a big sea urchin. You sing a song and it becomes a small sea urchin. It's kind of wiggling around everywhere. It, it's not very dangerous. It's the gargoyles that live in a room are kind of significantly more dangerous than is it is. And here there's a fun room with mummies. I don't know. Have fun. I... Why is this room here? To finish the, the image that I don't understand for the map? Maybe. Uh, maybe it's because if you don't know how to fight the dogger, you, you kind of go down and then you end up locked away with a bunch of mummies. That's not impossible. It's just, it's the room with the mummies, man. Don't worry about it, all right? Stop worrying. Every dungeon should have just a room with a bunch of mummies. No one understands why. That's what makes it beautiful. It's called art. Have you ever heard of such a thing as artistry? I haven't. Please explain it to me in detail. And here we go. And there's a lever that lives here in the mountain. We did it. 